Hi, I'm Georgette Forney, President of Anglicans for Life, and today I want to address the lie that sexual activity is risk-free. There are four specific consequences that can result from being sexually active. Pregnancy, sexually transmitted diseases and infections, violence, and a broken heart. If you have sexual intercourse, pregnancy is possible depending on the ovulation cycle of the female partner. There are different types of contraception to prevent pregnancy, but none of them are 100% trustworthy except abstinence. If you or your partner use birth control pills, it is important to know that they, can contain, they do contain synthetic hormones that are similar to the dangerous performance-enhancing steroids taken by athletes and increases the risk of liver, cervical, and breast cancer. They also increase the risk of blood clots that can form in your heart, brain, and travel to your lungs from the legs. While much of the mainstream medicine, uh, medical community uses birth control to fix unpleasant menstrual cycles, acne, and irregular periods, the real issue is that the birth control pill isn't fixing any issue at the root cause. It simply masks the symptoms by synthetically altering your hormones, which is neither safe nor natural. I would also add that for birth control pills to be effective, they must be taken faithfully as prescribed, otherwise they are not effective. Antibiotics can also impact their effectiveness. Did you know the Allen Guttmacher Institute, which is the research arm for Planned Parenthood, reports that 54% 50 of women became pregnant while taking birth control pills. And if you know your contraception failed and you choose to use the morning after pill, also known as Plan B, they are the same synthetic hormones, but in larger doses of what I noted earlier. In essence, any time we use hormonal contraception, contraceptives, we are poisoning the woman's body, the woman's body that with artificial um, steroids that can cause long-term health problems. The second risk associated with sexual activity is the transmission of diseases and infections, such as the human papillovirus, chlamydia, gonorrhea, HIV, genital herpes, and syphilis. More than 2.5 million cases of chlamydia, gonorrhea, and syphilis were reported in the United States in 2021. The World Health Organization reports on, on the global impact of these diseases and infections and has these main points to make. More than 1 million sexually transmitted infections, STIs, are acquired every day worldwide. The majority of these, these infections are asymptomatic, so you don't even know you've been infected. Second point, each year there are an estimated 30, three, 374 million new infections with one of four curable STIs. That's chlamydia, gonorrhea, syphilis, and trichomonasis, I'm, I'm sure I'm not saying that quite right, but trichomonasis. The next point, more than 500 million people ages 15 through 49 years are estimated to have a genital infection with the herpes simplex virus. Next point, human papillova HPV infection is associated with over 311,000 cervical cancer deaths each year. Next point, almost 1 million pregnant women were estimated to be infected with syphilis in 2016, resulting in over 350,000 adverse birth outcomes. STIs, sexually transmitted infections, have a direct impact on sexual and reproductive health through stigmatization, infertility, cancers, and pregnancy complications, and can increase the risk of HIV. My final point from the World Health Organization, drug resistance is a major threat to reducing the burden of STIs worldwide. 
Sexual activity can also lead to dating violence, which is when someone you are seeing romantically harms you in some way, whether it's physically, sexually, emotionally, or all three. It can happen on the first date or once you've fallen deeply in love. Dating violence is officially referred to as intimate partner violence, IPV. An intimate partner refers to both current or former spouses and dating partners. IPV can vary in how often it happens and how severe it is. It can range from one episode of violence that could have a lasting impact to chronic and severe episodes over multiple years. About 61 million women and 53 million men have experienced sexual or physical violence and or stalking by an intimate partner during their lifetime. Injury, post-traumatic stress disorder, concern for safety, fear, needing help from law enforcement, and missing at least one day of work are common consequences for the victim. When IPV occurs in adolescence, it is called teen dating violence, which affects millions of U.S. teenagers each year. It is estimated that about 16 million women and 11 million young men have experienced sexual, physical, or emotional violence or stalking by an intimate partner before the age of 18. Finally, I remember a sex ed teacher telling a group of us girls talking with her that while a condom can prevent pregnancy, it won't protect us from having our heart broken. Another old adage that your grandmother or grandfather may remember is that guys give love to get sex and girls give sex to get love. Both of these sayings were shared to remind us of the power of sexual activity and therefore it should be seen as a sacred special and worth waiting to engage in with the person who is committed to every part of who you are forever. The emotional, spiritual, social, financial, intellectual, and physical parts of who you are. Not someone who is just committed to the physical part of who you are. Falling in love is a wonderful feeling. Forging a strong, intimate relationship with another person is what we were created to do. But we must recognize that respect and value of the other person starts with honoring their heart and well-being. Sexual activity is not something to be entered into lightly because intimacy creates a bond between two people that is in a way merging two hearts, two minds, two souls, two people together. That is why we recommend it only in the context of the commitment of marriage. So you are able to live life to the fullest and focus on your goals, your dreams, and desires as you pursue the passions the Lord has placed in your heart. I hope this presentation helps you better appreciate that our culture lies when it comes to sex without consequences. All actions and choices have consequences, whether they're good or bad. We hope this teaching will help you plant the truths shared today deep in your heart so they help you become the person God created you to be and live that out in your relationships. Thank you.